<laughs> All right, lower your expectations. That's the, that should be on the flyer. <laughs> he tries some dumb ideas. So fat asses are in. <laughs> fat asses are in. You guys hear about this? It's all over the news. It's weird to be around, like be on Earth long enough to see like sexual trends change. Like I remember when like huge tits were in. You guys, you guys remember? You guys old enough to remember when huge tits <laughs> were in? Or am I dating myself <laughs> with my huge tits references? <laughs> yeah, I always think that must suck. Like if if you got huge tits on the last day it was in fashion, <laughs> <laughs> you just have huge double D's, and you're like, hey guys, notice anything different? And the guys are like, yeah, we're not into that anymore. <laughs> yeah, we don't like those. <laughs> we're into fat asses. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> what do I do with these? <laughs> well, I don't know. Put some pants on them. Maybe it'll look like an ass. I don't know. That's, that's your bad. I always think it must suck, like, uh, when you're a kid and your mom has, like, fake tits. Like, <laughs> some kids, their mom has fake tits, and that's got to be tough <laughs> on the kid. Because you don't like to think about your parents having sex, but then that's just, like, a reminder. It's in your face 24-7 that your mom has huge tits for your dad. <laughs> You're just angry all the time. Like, yeah, I'm having cereal. Fuck. <laughs> no, I don't want to ride to school, mom. I'm fine. I'll walk. Because I don't want everyone to know that you have huge tits and dad fucks you. <laughs> I think racism is stupid, but racists are even stupider. Right? Like, they don't even get it right. I think it'd be funny if there was one well-read racist... Like, hey, look at the guy, the guy in the turban. Let's go beat him up for 9-11. It's like, oh, those are actually Sikh Indians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you guys, but th those aren't the ones that we want. <laughs> you got it wrong. How do you know all this stuff? I just, I, I study up so I know how to hate better. <laughs> I'm trying to be a better racist. I'll give you guys some books, but yeah, they believe something completely different, but... You think they would take it off, but they don't, just because out of solidarity. <laughs> they could take it off and it'd be no problem, but yeah, that's not who we want. Or they'll see another group, like, let's beat up those Chinese guys for COVID. They're actually uh, South Korean. <laughs> you can tell by the facial geometry, and that's a K-pop sweater that he has on. <laughs> so they, are, they actually help with contact tracing in the <laughs> early days of COVID. They're an ally. Well, they're good. They're not who we want. And the guy just wants to beat someone up. <laughs> like, let's go into P.F. Chang's and fuck some people up. That's just Latino people cooking and then Bryce. <laughs> and some kid named Bryce. There's literally no Asian people in there. <laughs> let's go into Panda Express. Again, not, I don't want to burst your bubble. <laughs> but there's no Chinese people in Panda Express. Or pandas. So I, I, I live in Tarzana. That's where I'm at. You go, I don't need judgment from a guy in a fucking lawn chair. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> That's the dopest power move, just to pay money to come to a show and just be like, <laughs> I'm better than this guy. Where's my mic? He just alpha'd me. I'm in Tarzana. And it's just funny when I tell people I'm in Tarzana because like, they make it sound like I died. Just like LA people, I'm like, I'm in Tarzana. They're like, ooh, <laughs> like, like this guy. <laughs> what, like I went to Mars or something. It's not that far. I always have to defend Tarzana. I'm like, guys, <laughs> it's, really, it's really not that far. You know the movie Encino Man? It's, it's like one past. <laughs> it's one past Encino Man. But then I tell people, I go, but I, I, I own a place. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> then they're okay with it. It's like I'm scum of the earth if I'm renting in Tarzana. <laughs> But I say I own, they go, oh, all right. <laughs> now it makes sense, yeah. I should have clarified, I'm sorry. Did you think I rented in Tarzana? <laughs> Has your view of me completely changed? <laughs> all right, this is good. I think, like, the moral of, you know, the inclusive movement, LGBTQIA+, and all that, is just, like, to accept everybody, no matter what it is. And, you know, there... Gender and sexuality aren't intertwined. They can be separate. They can be independent of each other. There can be so many combinations is like what I learned. But what I'm curious is like certain combinations are, are they allowed? Like could I transition to be a woman, let's say? Yes, right? Are you guys okay with that? Like, <laughs> 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 I'll 
do it. <laughs> like, I do it on a dare. I'll transition. <laughs> I ate ketchup at lunch. A whole cup full of ketchup. You don't think I'll turn trans? I'll do it. <laughs> Just on a dare. You go, no one wanted you to do it. I thought you wanted me to do it. This is my life now? Fuck. So I could transition. I could be... I could transition. But what if I didn't change anything about me? Like, you know, like no operation... No clothes change, but like I identify as a woman. That's okay, still, right? Because you want to be all inclusive, right? And then, what if I said I'm a lesbian? <laughs> so I still fuck chicks, you know? <laughs> but I just, that just means everyone has to call me Janice from now on. <laughs> like, is that allowed? So pretty much I just changed my name. <laughs> but I took a really long way to get there. Like, your name's Janice? Yeah, I transitioned and I'm a lesbian. <laughs> So Janice, that's just, <laughs> all you have to remember is call me Janice from now on. Yeah, I still fuck chicks, yeah, because uh, <laughs> I'm a woman who's a lesbian. Is that allowed or is that, you like how I had to walk you through the process so that you didn't get offended the whole way? You're like, yeah, that's okay, that's okay, yep, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, that is absurd. Because <laughs> if I came out the gate, you'd be like, you monster, he him all over again. Get out of here. Yeah. And then like transgenders in sports, people are on the fence. They're like, some you should be able to, some you shouldn't be able to. Other people say, I I say they should be able to. Transgender should be able to be in sports, but I think each team should get one <laughs> transgendered <laughs> player. <laughs> and they just sit in a penalty box just like <laughs> till the last five minutes of the game, and that's when the game gets good. <laughs> Cause then the superstars are out there. <laughs> you go playtime's over, babies. The real women are here. And you're just like elbow dunking and all the fans are like, yeah! This is the women's sports I care about. <laughs> yeah. I think liberals are too liberal. That's the problem. Like I consider myself a liberal, but there's like, it's not enough. Remember when like Black Lives Matter was going on with George Floyd? Everyone was posting black squares and everything. Like yes, finally some headway was, was being done with that movement. And then literally the next day, they're like, what about black trans lives? <laughs> the very, like, give it a minute. Let's make some progress. Let's put this oxygen mask on first. Is this too preachy? I mean, I just thought it was funny. that In the middle of George Floyd, they're like, what about black trans lives? Let's focus on this first. Let's get some justice on this. And then, uh, you guys aren't, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you do care about black trans lives. <laughs> I am not diminishing black trans lies. I just believe there's an order of operations and they are further down the line. <laughs> am I Hitler? Jesus. <laughs> Who let Hitler do stand up? <laughs> Jesus. You, the dogs don't like me either? <laughs> Fuck. I got canceled in the animal kingdom. Every dog's like, we heard that joke. Bro, you don't like black trans lies? <laughs> Oh, do you think there was any woke people during the Renaissance? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, where's the cellulite on the statue, Michelangelo? <laughs> Real women don't look like this. And he's like, it just took, it takes five years to carve this. I'm not, I'm going to do a skinny chick. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's, are you going to move this? It's going to be heavier <laughs> for me to move all this marble. <laughs> you have a crane? <laughs> so that's like... You forget, like, this whole woke modeling, it's because pictures are so easy to do. You just snap it, get any one you want in front of it. But marble, you're going to be dedicating, like, 10 years to carving this. So, you know, you're going to be a little more picky about who you carve. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's no fuller-figured marble statues. <laughs> Am I beating a dead horse here? <laughs> Should I keep going about how awful this is? <laughs> I do like this new, have you noticed this new trend with modeling? It's like, it's like uh, fuller figure women. And, but here's the thing, like they're beautiful still. Or it'll be like, oh, like a woman with vitiligo, but she has perfect bone structure. <laughs> but they're hot. So it's just like they're hot, but they've got a quirk. That's the new modeling. When's the next barrier gonna be broken where it's just straight up ugly people? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, this is our new campaign. <laughs> Like, she's so fucking ugly, she's beautiful. <laughs> Adidas! <laughs> Wear it! 
Like, that's the new trend. Like, oh, at the mall, at Orange Julius, like, you're atrocious. <laughs> you have to model for us. That's going to be the, that's gonna be the, ne- <laughs> the next wave. Well, I'm with a modeling agency. We have some of the ugliest models <laughs> you've ever seen. They're so ugly, they're fucking gorgeous. They get in all the hottest nightclubs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, Dante, how's the club tonight? <laughs> they're models. Sorry, guys. You understand. <laughs> I had this epiphany the other day. When I was a kid, sometimes my dad would take me out for ice cream or my uncle would take me out for ice cream. And I always, I always thought they were like doing me a favor, like they wanted me to have ice cream. But I realized they did it because they wanted ice cream too. <laughs> and it would be too sad as a grown man <laughs> to get ice cream by yourself. Like it's too sad for society if, y- if you as a grown man go to Dairy Queen. <laughs> And you just eat ice cream by yourself. <laughs> so you need a kid. It's like a fucked up nightclub. <laughs> Society can't handle a grown man eating ice cream by himself. Kids can have it by themselves. Women can have it. But just like a 45-year-old dude <laughs> licking a vanilla cone. That's like breastfeeding. Like, wear a blanket. <laughs> no one wants to see this. Like, you're making me too sad, grown man. Or there should be like, you know how there's breastfeeding booths? There should be like ice cream booths for... For middle-aged men who just want to have like a vanilla cone, <laughs> like at the airport, they're like, "I want some ice cream." Go <laughs> 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 for like 20 minutes, and then no one knows you had ice cream as a grown man. <laughs> oh, there's people like different genres of porn when they go to a website. My favorite genre of porn is guys with bad backs. <laughs> they're just like, "Oh, fuck! Here, hold on. <laughs> uh, here, move. Uh, I told you. Uh. Oh shit! I told you. No, no, hold on. Let me try. Let me get a pillow." It's just adjusting for eight minutes. <laughs> the guy never jizzes and he gets frustrated. Like, we'll try another time. <laughs> you're, putting, you're putting too much pressure on it. You're putting too much pressure on my sciatic nerve. <laughs> I like how two people are loving me more than everyone else. And that's what you aim for as a comedian. Everyone can do the make everyone laugh, but the fucking heat seek two people? <laughs> that's a real talent. It's like I follow them around their whole lives and I figured out... <laughs> what they're into. I tailor. I'm like a designer comedian. <laughs> yeah. I have this thought that like terrorists and superheroes like have the same origin story. Right? Their parents die and then they seek vengeance. <laughs> like Batman and a terrorist are very similar. <laughs> Their parents die and they want payback and they don't have superpowers so they're just working with what they got. <laughs> they both live in a cave. <laughs> I never understood why, like when I was growing up, everyone would shit on stepdads, just make fun of step, stepdad. But it's like, it's a, such a selfless thing to do. You're like going into a burning building, pretty much. <laughs> it's very, it's not your family, like I'm sure they're a lovely family and everything, but like, that takes a lot for a dude to say like, this is gonna be my new family. But everyone just shits on this, like fuck you, you're not my real dad. <laughs> He's like, I don't have to be here, but he, but he is. <laughs> Stepdads and field goal kickers are the same. Like, no, no one respects them, but they put points on the board. <laughs> right? <laughs> they raise you. Also, it's weird that when you're a kid, you watch Simpsons, and it's fun to laugh at Milhouse's dad. And then you get old enough, and you know a lot of Milhouse's dads. <laughs> a lot of my friends are Milhouse's dad. <laughs> also, I, I watch these self-defense classes and stuff, and people will be like, or you put your left foot forward and you do this, and it's all the stuff to memorize. If you really want to get out of a fight, all you got to do is just pretend to have a seizure. <laughs> you just go, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> And for good measure, you go, my medication. Because <laughs> the guy, like a fight lasts a minute. A guy's down for a fight, but a guy having a seizure, you're like, the ambulance is going to come. They're going to ask for a statement. This is like a three-hour ordeal. And so he's just like, this is above my pay grade. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, is he gone? <laughs> Save yourself the money. No one's going to fight a seizure guy on the ground. Be like, no, 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 this makes it easier for me to beat you up. This is a life hack for everyone here. When nightclubs open up and everything, it's expensive. A lot of nightclubs are expensive to get into. Um, but what I've realized is sometimes they play the music so loud that the music spills onto the streets and you can just dance for free. 
<laughs> you can just be on the sidewalk <laughs> and dance for free. It's not illegal, I asked <laughs> some of the nearby cops. <laughs> I'd like to stare at the bouncer and just be like, you can't do anything about this. <laughs> I'm dancing for free. <laughs> guys, guys, you don't have to pay money. You can, you can dance on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm the only one? Okay, okay. I, okay, so... I'm second generation, right? Like, my parents are from Afghanistan. They came from Afghanistan. So I'm second generation. Is that the term? Or my first? first. Really? Then what is second? My kids? Grandparents? So what's zero generation? (laughs) No, this is educational for me. So first is my parents or me? You're first generation American if your parents came. You were born here. I'm learning about what... (laughs) I was born here? (laughs) This is like the final scene of a movie where I'm told that I was born here. (laughs) I was born here? (laughs) I thought I was doing stand-up all these years, but it's to find out for this reason that I was born here? (laughs) Everything makes sense. I was born, I have to go. I put the mic down, I I run to the ocean. (laughs) It wins the con festival. It's about a boy doing stand-up, learning he's American. And then he gives up. <laughs> All right, so I'm first generation. And my parents are second? No. What are they? Where are we born? They're immigrants, so they get nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking white man, even take that away from my parents? <laughs> no, so they're nothing. Are those your words? <laughs> I'd be a good lawyer. So you're telling me my parents, my immigrant parents are nothing? No further questions. <laughs> We got this. <laughs> I always like that when they come back and they go, yeah. we got this. <laughs> Have you seen this trend on, on Instagram? Like parents will post their baby in a crib and like a whiteboard next to it. <laughs> and it's like, I'm six months old. <laughs> My mommy's taking good care of me. <laughs> I'm almost sleeping through the night. <laughs> like I know your baby's not saying that. <laughs> just, just say it. Give the update as the parent. You don't need the whiteboard. I want to have a baby and just have it, like, the whiteboard say fucked up shit. <laughs> just like, I don't think women should vote. <laughs> People are like, dude, you're like, it's not me, it's the baby. <laughs> I'm not saying this shit, the baby. I think Hitler had the right idea. <laughs> dude, it's not me, my baby's racist. I have to live with this thing. I don't approve of its lifestyle. I didn't teach it, it came out this way. Has anyone gotten, like, Zoom head? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's pandemic roadhead. <laughs> Zoom head. <laughs> I haven't, but I imagine someone has got to have gotten the thrill of Zoom head. <laughs> You're just in a, like, a meeting. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, those numbers sound, uh, yeah. Uh, those numbers sound good to me. Oh, uh, fuck. Is everything okay, Daniel? Yeah, just the numbers are looking so good. <laughs> this quarter, I'm fucking crushing it. Uh. You know who I think... Uh, Hated Zoom school the most, school shooters. (laughs) (laughs) Right, they're just in their trench coat on the webcam. (laughs) Do you guys know when we're coming back? Does anyone know the timeline? When we're coming back to school, I just learned better in person. I don't know about you. I'm sending out some vaccination links. All uh, all my classmates should get vaccinated. It's important. J and J, Pfizer, Moderna, whatever. Just we all need to get back in the classroom. I miss you guys. (laughs) I'll see you at lunch. Or homeroom. <laughs> There's this whole mental health, like, with celebrities. We love, like, you know, celebrating mental health and people being, like, have mental illness only when it's, like, Demi Lovato or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's only in fashion when it's a celebrity. It's like, I've been going through some mental. Everyone's like, yes. But if you were at work and they're like, this is Blake. Uh, he came <laughs> from our Boston branch. He had a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> but he's with our team now. <laughs> No one's like, yes, queen. I don't know, you guys hear about fucking Blake? <laughs> he's, like, he's got like a screw loose or something. And Blake's just typing. <laughs> he's like a totally normal guy, but you have no idea what's going on in there. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, you're trying to suss out some info. Like, hey, Blake, <laughs> how was the Boston? It was good, it was good. Yeah, okay, so you had a breakdown, huh? <laughs> yeah, I had a mental breakdown. I really lost my mind. <laughs> okay, yeah. So was it like, are you harmful to yourself? <laughs> Or was it like an other people thing? <laughs> Do you like implode? 
or do you explode? I'm just wondering what kind. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, 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 you got a lot of work to do. Just want to know where the exits are. <laughs> yeah, no one's cool if Blake has mental illness, but if it's J-Lo, be like, you're a princess. <laughs> people die on roller coasters, right? You've heard stories of people dying. There must be a split second when they're on that roller coaster where they think it's the best ride in the world. <laughs> 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 right? Because roller coaster is supposed to make you feel like you're dying. And then when it goes off the rails for a second, you're like, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just like cut to black. <laughs> this is the best ride ever. And then it's not, you're like, oh, that wasn't part of the ride. And you're, there's clouds. <laughs> this wasn't part of the ride. <laughs> oh, I remember one time I was talking to a girl at a party and then I was like, oh, can I get your number? And she was like, I don't feel comfortable giving you my number, but here's my Instagram. And I thought that's a weird trade off. <laughs> Like, if you gave me your number, all I would know is your first name and a series of digits, <laughs> and that's it. Instead, you gave me thousands of photos <laughs> and videos <laughs> of you and your family and your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I could spend one Saturday and do some very bad things. <laughs> I'm not saying I would, but it's a weird trade-off. <laughs> a number's too invasive. Here's my entire life. <laughs> Okay, and some boomerangs thrown in. I was just thinking, don't you think it's odd that, or it's just so strange that the attraction that men and women have to each, to, uh, to each other make it possible to like meet up in the on the flimsiest of premises? Like you can comment on a girl's story and then get some banter and then you'll like meet up for drinks and it's only because you have this like mutual semi-attraction to the opposite sex. I could not do that to like another straight guy. <laughs> you ever think about it on Instagram, just he's rock climbing and I'm like, cool wall. <laughs> he's like, thanks, dude. <laughs> and I just keep on bantering, like, let's get coffee sometime. <laughs> like, we wouldn't be able to meet up. He'd be like, are you trying to fuck or what? <laughs> like, I'm not gay, dude. We wouldn't get to meet up. <laughs> but you can do that with women. <laughs> Just because you think there might be something there, but like I can't randomly hit up a straight dude on Instagram and be like, let's hang out. <laughs> Don't think I want to fuck. I think, okay, once, once an observation becomes very commonplace, it becomes racist. It's kind of like a hack observation of race. So like black people talking different than white people is like racist because you've heard it a million times. Chinese people being good at math is racist because everyone knows that. <laughs> but if you are early to an observation, <laughs> it's not as racist. It's not because you're new to it. I think I have one. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you ever see those like motorcycles with like three wheels? A lot of black people drive them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racist. That's just the fact. <laughs> Next time you see like a trike, you know, like the three, the three wheel motorcycle, it's Batman and black people. <laughs> like that's the <laughs> only people <laughs> who drive those. So I'm early to that one, guys. <laughs> Ten years from now, you would eat me alive for that. <laughs> but tonight it's okay. You know, DMX doesn't get enough credit for making ATVs popular in the black community. <laughs> Before him, you couldn't motorcycle or ATV, and then he made it cool. Like, how many black guys did you see on four-wheelers before DMX? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to give credit where credit's due. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I think people who buy entry-level luxury cars are overextending themselves <laughs> <laughs> financially. Like, you're not, like, if you really have money, you're not like, let me buy the cheapest Lexus. <laughs> Let me buy the 3 Series, the BMW 3 Series. That's not what goes down when you're buying an entry-level luxury car. You're looking on the website and you're like, I think I might, I might be able to get a Beamer. I might have enough money. You're over, if you're questioning whether you have enough money to get the luxury, that's why you'll see a lot of like Uber Eats drivers who pull up in a Beamer. They, they thought that they had the finances, and they're like, ah, oh, I didn't know how long the lease was. 
Anyways, I'm driving around some burgers in a cool whip. <laughs> you got your drink? You got, all right, take it easy. I'm, I'm making this smell like a Corolla. <laughs> I'm making my Beamer smell like a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, you like my new ride? Why does it smell like burgers in here? <laughs> well, I, eat, I eat a lot of burgers. <laughs> you eat them in the car? Or? Yeah, I eat burgers in the car. Yeah, why don't you take them inside? Just, how do you think I got rich? By eating burgers outside? <laughs> I eat it in here. Uh, I think time is racist's worst enemy. Because time marches forward and you can't be as racist as you were the year before. Because society won't have it anymore. That's why I never understood Captain America. Because they thaw him out and he's just like woke. <laughs> he's just woke as shit. There's no hiccups. <laughs> if those movies are realistic, they'd be like, Captain America would be like, Hawkeye, be careful, you're next to those two faggots kissing. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, Cap, we don't say that anymore. It's not, it's not a term. It's like, oh, I didn't know. Just when I was frozen, we were saying faggot all the time. <laughs> yeah, we don't, a lot of time has passed. He's getting away. I, I gotta educate you. Just, we'll deal with that in another movie. Just, you, can't, you can't be throwing around a faggot like that shield that you throw around, okay? Yeah, that's a word you can't say. The F word, you know. But I always think it's so weird. Like, uh, if you don't mention your sexu sexuality, how does anyone know? You know what I mean? Like, what if someone's like, you can't say that word on stage, and I just show them a video of me getting fucked? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah? How you like them apples? <laughs> and they're like, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You could use the word as much as you want. And I go, yeah. <laughs> like, I just get fucked just so I can say the word on stage. <laughs> so strip clubs. There's no segues. You're not getting segues. <laughs> you guys didn't pay segue prices. <laughs> you got buckshot prices. Some girls think that like guys like to go to a strip club and just see girls and boobs and all that, but I think the appeal for a lot of guys is being able to talk to someone this beautiful for, for like this long. Because they just come into your lap and you're like, hey, <laughs> what's your name? And this never happens to dudes. They're like, oh, my name's Jacob. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why they like going to the strip club, to have a conversation with a beautiful woman for this long. <laughs> it's not about the tits. It's just like, well, how was your day? It was good. <laughs> no one's asked me how my day is before. I, ma I made a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, what kind of sandwich? It was turkey. <laughs> like, in the real world, this conversation would have ended, like, five seconds in. He's like, I'm into Magic the Gathering. <laughs> wow. Is that like Pokemon? Kind of. This was first. <laughs> it, was, it was heavily influenced. <laughs> wow. Do you want to go in the champagne room? Can we talk more in there? Can we talk about Magic the Gathering more? Yeah, we can do whatever you want. Here, don't take my pants down. I want to talk about Magic more. <laughs> Hold on. Get away from my belt. I want to talk about Pokemon. Also, what if you got up to heaven and you just saw like Bin Laden in the VIP? <laughs> just with 72 <laughs> chicks? <laughs> just like, shots, 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 shots. And he just gives you a head nod. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, it was true? <laughs> oh fuck. <And> you just <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's it for me. Thanks, guys, for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. <laughs>